Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Rewind and Replay. I'm Matan. I'm Adriana. I'm Caitlin. And we are joined once again by friend of the show, Albert, a.k.a. Rabbit Doe. Uh, you might know him as the GM from our D&D Christmas Heist one-shot. And he's, uh, and he's joining us today to play For the Honor. Um, Thanks for bringing me on, y'all. Yeah, of course. Uh, Adriana, tell us about For the Honor. Yes, before I do, I'm going to, uh, one, call Matan out because he looks as white as a ghost. <laughs> and two, mention that you can find Albert um, everywhere as Rabbit Doe. He is usually our DM for things, and we are so grateful he has decided to, to play and relax with us today. Mm. Um, so like Matan said, we're going to play For the Honor. Um, the art style is freaking beautiful. I wish I could just show you guys the book, but I don't have it printed. Um, Here's a picture. Bam. Here. There. Editing. The yeah, I don't know. Good luck. Good luck. Good luck, Gary. <laughs> um, is editing this. <laughs> um, so it is based a little bit on She-Ra. And so the introduction, magical effects, glitter, blah. Gary, do it. <laughs> <laughs> Not making this easy for Gary. <laughs> <laughs> so for the honor, Raphael is a land full of magical people, fantastical creatures, and mystical kingdoms. It is studded with ancient ruins left behind by a long lost civilization. It had always been a peaceful realm. That is until 12 years ago. The Legion came down from the stars and began to colonize the planet. The expansion was swift and brutal. Caught on the back foot, the kingdoms of Raphael united and forged the Raphaelian resistance. The warriors and princeps of the resistance fought valiantly. Within a year, they pressed the legion back to their stronghold. Sadly, their final assault ended in tragedy. The resistance shattered and kingdoms turned to isolation. It has been 12 years and a new generation is beginning to see the need for another resistance. The legion has been attacking towns again. The kingdoms are sending out invitations to balls and the wilds have been getting stranger and stranger. We, the princeps and warriors of factions at odds, will clash, quarrel, and flirt to sway Raphael in our favor. All right. So let's let's yes, summarize so this real the quick. World system. There's a lot there. Yeah. So the Legion, the Legion came down, colonized our planet. Mm -hmm. And then the resistance, that's what we're part of, or we may not necessarily be part of, but they're like the but yeah. is the goal it's the only yeah. thing preventing total colonization yes and then there was 12 years there's isolation and then 12 years and now it's no longer isolation mm -hmm. we're trying things are okay. changing things are changing and that's things what we're gonna play so now we're gonna get into the how to play the game or else we'd just be talking at you and making shit up on the fly and rules are important i guess um, first, I'd like to note For the Honor is amazingly created by Quinn Vega, and this game is made up of a bunch of mini games, which players laced together to create a kind of story. So we're going to play them in whatever order we like and as many times as we like. So this is going to be a multi-part series. Each mini game has its own list of rules and prompts and questions, and we'll go over that later when, you know, it arises. So For the Honor is indeed an anthology game inspired by she and the Princesses of Power. It's based on the Firebrands framework by Vincent Baker and Maggie Baker. I don't know how to say that. I should have Googled it. We're playing the current version, 1.0, and you can find more information about the game in the description below. Please go buy it. Um, and for like tone setting and like something really important that I love that indie TTRPGs tend to do more is to like emphasize safety and comfort and like new groups play all the time. So we have four guiding principles to keep in mind while we play. Um, to spice shit up, I'm gonna ask Caitlin, Matan, and Albert to take turns reading these. Ooh. So first we have be curious, ask questions about the things that interest you, follow the things that excite you. Um, I'll do the next one. Uh, be a fan of the other characters, cheer them on, support their choices. Play loose. Invent things on the fly and leave space for ideas to come. Keep the friction fluid. Friction <laughs> fluid. I can read. I think I can read. Keep, keep the friction fluid, though. That's something I'd like to think more about. That's pretty oxymoronic. If you oh, really that's think. Yeah, exactly. And then Kaylin? 
All right, get messy. Fling your character into hasty action, foolish romances, and complicated friendships. Yes. So these are some good vibes. And we're going to get on, like, how to actually play it. So for everyone watching, the idea of, like, when we play these indie tabletop games is not only us playing the game, but kind of an introduction to you on how to play it, how to start. So make sure we all have a PDF of the game, the, a shared notes document, and a coin, virtual or physical. I forgot the coin. <laughs> <laughs> virtual. Just flip a coin on the internet. It's yeah. okay. I'll just yeah. flip my pen, I guess. Duh. As long as you can identify a heads and a tails, I don't care. <laughs> so the order of operations, we're going to create our characters on the fly and introduce them, then begin the prelude to the game, and then go around the table at least once, maybe multiple times, playing mini games until we feel that the story is complete. Um, for ease of play, I'll be taking on a moderator role because I've been doing all the talking. Um, so I'm going to explain the rules of each scene after it's chosen by a player on their turn. This is a little bit of a modification to the game because I'm being an arbiter, but you can play this without any kind of like game master type player. This is designed to be GM-less completely, um, but this is kind of how we like to do things. So, And then Matan, will you mind reading the safety rules? I do not mind. Uh, the game has thorough instructions for safety and boundary negotiation. As we've all played with each other quite a bit, we'll be fast forwarding through that a little. However, during the game, anyone can call pause for a check-in if they want to add a boundary or need or want to remove or reframe an element of the story we are telling. Remember, our safety and happiness are worth more than any story we are creating. We are here to have a good time. And if you guys saw our previous... Not a long time. time. Not a long time. <laughs> One of our previous one shots, if you haven't got to check it out, Behind the Magic, where <coughs> someone ended up killing us all. This game actually has rules on death. Caitlin, can you read them? The tone <laughs> of no this particular game. reason. The tone of this game is meant to be light and fun. To achieve this, characters can't die. The worst that can happen is they may be knocked out or moderately injured. You know, I don't really like the implication no. here that like <laughs> it's not fun to die <laughs> <laughs> or kill Dying all of your friends <laughs> what what a weird idea what a, what a like, weird concept <laughs> can you imagine <laughs> like mur people don't find murder fun wow um News don't watch me. behind the magic to get all these references. <laughs> yes and so to start i will be making a character first um and there are a couple of different steps to this we're just gonna be going in order and we're gonna go around the table we'll flip a coin to see who goes next um and shit's gonna be good i don't know what i'm doing so be patient with me but so the first step is choose your faction and give yourself three traits there are four factions to choose from the resistance the legion the kingdoms and the wilds um so if you've seen Shira, like the legion is like katra you know that vibe um we don't actually need to have there are four of us but we don't actually need to just pick four different factions um feel free to experiment with different combos we can do whatever floats our boat whatever vibe feels right can um, i ask can i ask before we go on who here has seen uh Shira, the princesses of power i have not okay Albert. Mm. Well, hopefully this will inspire you to watch it. Yeah. I saw a little bit of the original as well. It's got very cool vibes. Albert, say that again. I'll probably uh, give me an opportunity to renew my Netflix subscription to watch nice. the show. True. Depends yeah. On. Oh, speaking of Netflix, I'm going to do some self promo. Go check out on this channel our React series to Netflix's The Crown. Shameless plug. Yeah. Oh, good bridge. Good bridge. Thank you. Thank you. So about factions, um, I'll pick one. But before, like the main idea behind a faction is that uh, a faction provides a character with a motivation and some goals to pursue. Each faction also has questions that change depending on what you choose to answer while you're building your character to give a sense of personality. One character, our character's factions may change while we're playing and that can be awesome however changing factions does not change the traits that we're going to choose at the beginning they stay the same so for my faction i feel inspired to pick the wilds because i am dressed kind of like a farm farmer so we're gonna go with the wilds and this is the introduction to that faction 
Uh, you are a warrior princept of the wilds. As a member of the wilds, it's up to you to decide if you will help the other factions or just take them for all they are worth. And that's my phone. Someone didn't silence their phone. Mm -mm. It normally always is, but I turned it on because my grandma has dental surgery tomorrow. Bam! That's epic. <laughs> <laughs> Dental care is badass. Dental care is important. Go brush and floss right now. Pause. <laughs> Take us with you. I'm going to pick now three traits that describe me, a person of the wild. Um, I'm, you know what, Caitlin, you've inspired me with Behind the Magic. I'm going to pick Oblivious. Ooh. I'm going to pick Oblivious. And... Uh, I'm going to pick, weirdly enough, stunning we'll see if this ends up being like pretty stunning or like literally i stun you <laughs> don't know we'll explore that yeah um and then we're gonna go with 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 ancient i'm feeling the fey vibes i'm feeling oh. the fey vibes okay, josh isn't okay. here so i have to yeah so i'm gonna read the little description that the wilds comes with just in case no one else picks it again um, which we don't have to, we could, we could all be from the wilds, who knows? <laughs> so, most people believe that the wilds are treacherous and uninhabited. The truth is that they have never bothered to look. If they had, they would have seen that our settlements, taverns, and markets are vibrant and vital, however dispersed as they might be. They would have seen the land itself shift and breathe, alive and full of magic. Now, most people come to take things, not to look. But I don't let them. I make sure that they get good and lost and leave them at the mercy of the wilds. So what if it makes it seem like the rumors about this place are true? Better than having the Legion on Resistance walk around like they own the place. I think I want to be from the kingdom. So you are a princept or knight of a sovereign kingdom. As a representative of a kingdom, the Resistance and the Legion want your loyalty and attention. It's up to you to decide whose offer is more enticing. Mm -hmm. um, I, I want to be creepy. Oh, cool. Lord. Because that sounds fun. Cool. Oh. Um, I want to be rebellious and adventurous. Nice. Sounds interesting. I like that. Mm -hmm. It does sound interesting and very up Caitlin's alley. The moment you said creepy, my brain went, oh, God. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that All right. Let me let me read my description here for Kingdom. The second part. But there's two descriptions. What's the, the second part is just like what you're more about it. I don't know. Yes. The part in quotes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Uh, once upon a time, your kingdom was a member of the last great Rothelian resistance. But after too many tactical missteps by the resistance leaders, I broke from it too to focus, or I broke from it to focus. My power. My power. Oh, my power. <laughs> my bad. You. I was like, what? <laughs> my power on defending your people. I have held fast for years, resisting the Legion's attempt to incorporate or take my kingdom. These efforts have left you tired. Rumors from around Rathael say that the resistance is forming again. I could probably use the help, but are they worthy of my trust? <laughs> I want to see what Albert picks before I commit. So you want to go last? I mean, I was going to wait for you, Matan. Oh. <laughs> Who are you going to pick? Yeah. All right, fine. You're the guest. I have to go first. Uh, oh. I mean, you're you can pick. You more time to think. You can also pick one of the ones that have already been picked. Just because we're four and there are four does not mean we have to do different things. It's true. You're right. Um, also, I will say, though, especially with, is maybe a little more clear with the kingdoms, that there are, especially like you've seen Shira, right? So there are many different kingdoms. Whereas right. the wilds is kind of like one kind of thing. So is the resistance and the legion. But the kingdoms can be very different. I feel like the Legion, I feel like I shouldn't, the one white man here shouldn't be the Legion. <laughs> or maybe you should. Maybe it's maybe an accurate should. portrayal of like colonization and like our battle. I don't, or yeah. maybe like it's a, like an apology. If you, it's apo like you're, you're practicing apology by like starting the Legion and then moving to the resistance. The views expressed by my character do not necessarily reflect those <laughs> my personal views or those held by Rewind and Replay. I'll play the Legion. <laughs> um, 
Oh my god, I love that. <laughs> um, oh man, I'm gonna be. You're gonna be the very best. Friendly. Like no one ever was. <laughs> um, uh, I'm gonna be. Uh, oh, oops, I will ready, type I it for you because Thank you're you. acting currently. I'm gonna be friendly. I'm gonna be clever. Mm. And I'm going to be uh, perceptive. Great. Okay. Led by a mysterious dark lord, the Legion is a galactic military force that has invaded Rathael. What's the, what are we going with pronunciation there? Rath, Rathael? I was saying Rathael. Yeah. Okay, Rathael. Love it. With the res- hmm? Love it. <laughs> With the resistance still fractured, many opportunities have arisen for the Legion to expand and conquer land. If I can stay focused and move quickly, I could wipe the resistance and its silly princeps off the face of Raphael once and for all. All right, Albert. I'm going to go with the resistance. Okay. Wow, the thing I said we didn't have to do. I De- <laughs> cool. But we could do I, it and we want I to. mean, we'll do it. I mean, there are also some mad traits that I really want to use for this one as well. Mm-hmm. I am going to be a real unpredictable, scrappy, and... Yeah. Uh, Wild card. Yeah. Probably a bit fiery uh, right. kind of fella for the resistance. Okay, so you picked fiery. Say the other ones. Unpredictable and, and scrappy. What is this? What was? Did you have inspiration for this? Or is it just like a vibe you're feeling? Perhaps. Uh, I'm. Uh, I'm Snaps. gonna be like real chaotic vibes. I'm feeling. You know. I'm feeling like that right now. Did you say Keanu? No, chaotic. <laughs> chaotic. I was chaotic. like, I can get with that. Some Keanu vibes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But basically, uh, as part of the resistance, you are a princept or ranger of the resistance. As a member of the resistance, you want to convince the kingdoms and the wilds to help you thwart the legion's plans. Watched over by a caring matriarch, the newly rekindled resistance is just beginning to take back ground from the evil legion. It has been 12 years since the last resistance fell. Since then, the legion has become ever more forceful in their conquest. Right now, one thing is clear. The only way to save Raphael is to forge as many alliances as I can and take the fight to the invaders united. So uh, it sounds like Caitlin and I are a little bit more neutral. We need some convincing by either. And I would like to say we don't actually have to side with the resistance, I guess. Um, we could. We probably should. But we don't have no, to. No, no. So you, you probably, sh- you probably yeah. shouldn't. That band yeah. of rapscallions? No. <laughs> <laughs> And okay, so the next thing we're gonna do, we've got some questions to answer. And I'm gonna go first because I went first originally. Um, so first up, what is the community I come from like? What and what is my favorite thing to do? Um, I think the community I come from is like really small and currently non-existent. Like we've all like grown up and like separated, you know, there's like the grandma who lives somewhere else in the wilds. So it's not like a community anymore. But before it was like immediate family, like nomad, cyberpunk style, just like traveling, doing their thing. But the birds left the nest. Um, and I think my favorite thing to do is count stars. I like the stars, I guess. Nice. All right. Um, There's mine. Okay. What is your kingdom like? What practice binds its people together? My kingdom, it's very open, lots of water, very, everyone loves to swim. Fresh water or salt water? Salt water. Uh, we are by the ocean. Cool. And I think that's the practice that like really binds us together is the water. Like water activities. Everyone loves to swim together. Everyone loves to fish together. It's the water that binds us together. And we're a very close-knit kingdom. 
Would you like to give your kingdom a name? Oh, yes. Mm. Mm -hmm. One thing that I love about Shira and this game too is that it can be like really basic. Like you pick That's, the thing and then you just add. Be... Yeah, let's hear it. It was yeah. gonna be oceanic. <laughs> Nice. Oceanica. Oceanica. Oceanica, yeah. There, we go. there, there we go. you go. That's Ocarina. that's a that's a Shirod name. Okay. So my questions are who raised me and taught me to fight? And what Legion principles do I hold sacred? So I'm gonna say my pappy raised me. My my uh grandfather was a great uh general for the Legion, and he raised me and taught me to fight. And the legion principles that I hold sacred are order. Like I've, you know, traveled the galaxy and I've seen a lot of a lot of planets, a lot of civilizations, a lot of worlds tear themselves apart um, with infighting. And I think the legion helps make it order out of that. It helps us. Uh, yes, it gives rules, but in some ways, those rules can be freeing. You did stormtrooper. Like <laughs> just like in this game, right? We, are, we, we create rules to then enable us to create this world and story. There are so few rules in this game, but okay. I, I'll hold my tongue. <laughs> Albert. Well, you see, my childhood was a bit of a laborious one in the sense that my folks, we owned a potato-like uh, farm and we pretty much funded an economy full of potato-based items like fries and vodka and all sorts of stuff. Mm -hmm. But then the Legion, they decided to take hold within our little, uh, my family's little uh, business and such. So our economy kind of dwindled and family a bit less penniless once the Legion tried to get their grubby little hands on our family's uh, lifelong work. And it's been um, decades since I've been in resistance trying to fight back against the Legion to reclaim my potato farm, my family's potato farm, and get back into that whole fries and vodka business all over again. Nice. Cool. How long have That's you been nice in the resistance? Cool. Uh, he said decades. Like, decades. I can okay. give you a specific number. Like, no, no, no. Decades is fine. I missed it. Decades. No, let's say let's say let's say five decades. Sure, I'm an old wow. man at this point. Cool. <laughs> I don't know the timeline of Shira, so I don't. Well, it's I not actually that. in. It's not can well not within the canon the, timeline. Uh, like it's a... like the yeah, it's like the vibes of Shira, but like the planet has a different name. Yeah. Uh, okay. Shira, we only know her law. She's the only hero we know. And right, no surprise, guys? the white man can't rap either. <laughs> Jeez. Can't rap. Wow. All right. So... I'm going to nuke you. <laughs> <laughs> now, the next thing we're all going to go around and do in the same order is we're going to choose up to two abilities. So abilities are everything from teleportation to archery to baking. These are skills that your character uses to solve problems. So, you know, for example, do you fight with fire blasts or with acrobatics? Do you use a portal to comfort our friend from miles and miles away? Uh, do we play songs that make our hidden feelings clear? So we have a list of options to choose from, but it's not exhaustive and it is not meant to limit us. We can just make stuff up. We don't have to pick from what's given if we want. Um, and so in For the Honor, warriors, which we've, we've seen this a little bit, warriors are no less powerful than princeps. Both skills and magic are equally powerful and impressive. By choosing an ability, you are saying that your character is the best at it. They are known throughout Raphael for it. When you are narrating your character's abilities, don't be afraid to take big sw swings. We aren't concerned with numbers or mechanical balance at all, so you can say whatever you want. This is not to say that your abilities are infallible. A princess might run out of magical energy, or a warrior's sword might break, a baker's dough might not rise. If you feel like you're doing something too over the top, ask another player to add a complication for you. Yeah, and so to help us kind of like brainstorm ideas in addition to the list, for example, like 
if we have a special weapon that we draw or a transformation that we go through, like the princesses, right? Like they have the magic thingy. Um, we also want to think about what it might look like. So we're not only thinking traits, but we're thinking about like physical aspects too. Um, or like, do we have a cool catchphrase that we say when we use our ability? Like you, you hit the mark and you like, I can't think of things. Don't ask Cow me. Cowabunga. Um, Cowabunga, dude. Yeah. Um, yeah. So just think about all that. I'm going to go first because I hate myself. Um, Oh, Caitlin, I don't know if you've seen this, but I don't, you probably can't do it because you've got your vibes going, but someone in this game could be Spider-Man because one says web slinging. I saw that. I already have my <laughs> vibes, but I could have been Spider-Man. Bitch, don't kill my vibe. Damn. Um, you know what? I'm going to put, I'm going to put lightning and transformation. As my attributes, cool. lightning and tra- can you? Okay, all right. What do you? What I, does transformation mean to you? I think it's it's like the you know like the Shira thing, right? Like she goes from normal, yeah. but like still really strong human to like even better at it, yeah. right? So like a buff to like strength score, a buff to lightning. Okay. <clears throat> Like getting big, like literally, like mm-hmm. um, like I would like to rage, right? Like yeah. Now you're two feet tall. Hulk form, yeah. Yeah. All right. Cool. Uh, I think my obvious one is water. <laughs> uh, I need to pull some water. Um, and then I, I think I'm gonna have a sword. I'm gonna be Percy Jackson. Um, oh yeah. But my sword is gonna be like special, so that I can like grow and be like a surfboard. Oh, Manny! Stop it! Stop it! Mm-hmm. Special guest dog. You need a familiar. Yeah. True. Um, no, so my sword will grow and it can be like a surfboard too, and I can like <laughs> use it. it in the water. Cool. And you're proficient at the water, so why not? Heck yeah. I can like literally just create my own waves and surf on my yep. sword. Nice. Um Get you down. I just doesn't make sense, but my first instinct, baking. Cool. That Does was it, just talk about you, baking so much, right? Yeah, no, Tom, that was yeah. good. <laughs> I'm so <laughs> well, you know what, Albert? You should take baking too, and that's like Ooh. our like mode of competition. Oh, oh no, it comes up baking the yes. great British bake off, yes. <laughs> no, but it's like also like what brings the Legion and the Resistance together. Mm. Well, is yeah, okay, the power of bacon, yes. Yeah, I'd like to also give a shout out to this list. I want to read a couple of my favorites <laughs> glitter. Friendship, <laughs> claws, uh, magnets. <laughs> I really like those. But did you see um, candy? And candy. I didn't see yeah. candy. Wow. Candy. Candy. What is it's, sapping? Like taking energy? It's probably. Or maybe it's like literally like tapping a tree to get sap. I don't your, know. Kill, your maple syrup is to die for. <laughs> um, I could go with your baking. Right. Okay. I, <laughs> I'm going to do baking. And I think I'm going to go with uh, portals. I want to do baking yeah. and portals. A classic. a classic. A classic combo. Baking and portals. It's like salt and pepper. Uh, <laughs> you just throw hot pies through the portal. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Order up. <laughs> well, <laughs> let me just raise you with baking and plants. <laughs> you oh, my one weakness. If you're going to bake something. And wow. I was assuming that with plants, you can conjure like any type of plants or anything. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Whatever hard you to, want. Hard to bake when you don't have the right ingredients for your foods. True. Spices on the go. That was just so exciting, you guys. That was just really exciting. I, I have a lot of going. feelings. Yeah. So the next step is we're going to choose our name, our pronouns, and we're going to describe ourselves. Just to know. Princept, we've said it a few times now, is Raphael's word for people who wield magic. It is a gender neutral term. Some magic wielders prefer to be called princess or prince. The choice is up to you. Um, and that's why they're opposed, right? Like warriors and princeps, because magic, not magic, different strengths. Um, my name 
And I love a suggestion that's actually in the book for this game. Uh, your name should be something that is easy to remember. If you're stuck, try taking in aspects of your abilities and adding a suffix <laughs> such as A, I, A, Ra, Ella, Et. Right? So, like, Lightning Et could be my name. I'm not going to do that. But how, how very She-Ra of you. How very She-Ra of you. Um, similarly, we can name our home based around our abilities, <laughs> Oceanica. Uh, for example, if you have fire abilities, you could come from the Flame Kingdom or the Ember Spark Resistance or the Legion of Fire or the Scorched Wastes. Um, and I love that. So my name. Oh, oh, I need like a star name. That's what I have to do. Yeah. Stella. That's what I have to do. And oh, that's cute. But the horrible thing that came to me first, and I, I feel like I'm cursed, um, is like Draco or Scorpio. Um, or Scorpius. And I love Scorpia from like the actual show. She's great. Um she, I like this. Yeah, I think she's honestly one of the best characters in that show. I agree. I uh, yeah. Yes. Um, why are all Harry Potter characters named after stars? Regulus, Sirius. That's so true. <laughs> I had no idea those were stars. Cool. Yeah. Um, um, you know the Big Dipper was a star? <laughs> <laughs> you want me to call myself the Big Dipper? It's actually a constellation, <laughs> not a star. Oh. You guys, do people know about this? <laughs> <laughs> it was a joke because it was a constellation, not a star. You know what? I'm going to go with Lyra. Like cool, I Lyra. like that. I'm gonna yeah. go with Lyra, and I will say that the name for like my little corner of the wild um, is the Stormy Fields. We're from the Stormy Fields. If it's stormy, you can't see the stars very much. Maybe Ooh. that's why I love it so much, right? Like doing something rare. Yeah. Okay. Right, um, like, yeah. oh man, this the sky is finally yeah. like clear tonight. I can try and find Lyra in the sky. Was, sorry, total total aside. Was this just me, or did you guys read this in high school? It's a short story about people who live on another planet, and it's storming all the time. And like every so often, it'll clear up, and you can see the stars. And this girl came from Earth, and she loved to see the stars. And the people are like, it's never going to clear up, and they put her in the closet, and then it does clear up, and then she's stuck in the closet. She doesn't get to see it. No. no. What no. is the okay. short story? Fucked. Okay, it was pretty fucked. Maybe it was just me. Maybe it was just me. It happens like once every like decade, and she and she like misses oh my it God, because they put her in the closet. Like That's terrible. Yeah. Oh, okay, poor maybe thing. it was just me. Maybe it was just me. All right. Well, moving on. <laughs> uh, in addition to the name and where you're from, you decide your book. All sorts of people live on Raphael. You could have pointed ears, a fluffy tail, scales, or even be mechanical. Uh, you can also have effects that like appear around you like a swirl of leaves when you move or the scent of pastries when you throw a punch. The options are vast and wide open for us to play with. Um, and you can pick as many of like these look elements as you want to try and describe yourself. Um, I'm gonna say, you know, to go with the theme, I have arcs of electricity um, like around me. I have like a night sky colored cape but like on the inside has like constellations Whoa. and stars inside. And I will say I have horns cause I'm feeling horns. Nice. Yeah, that, that's me. And oh, pronouns, right? duh. Yes, she, her, hers, thank you. All right. Um, I think I'm gonna go with Sia. I made the Percy reference earlier, so take the end and go with Sia. Oh, plus C. Oh my gosh, when you spelled it like that, Sia. I have. I, I imagine it's C with like an accent on the A. Yeah. It, how no, would I you spell that? Oh, seal. Seal. She says seal. <laughs> um. Okay. What do I need? I already named my kingdom Oceanica. Yes, you did. And yes. my looks, I have scales. It's like blue scales. Um, I liked how you have like your cape. I want something like that. Yeah. I feel like I'd have like a fishnet cape. Like your little, your yeah, little like this. Except it's like a big cape like that. 
Wow. And oh, you can trap people with it. Yeah. It's like Natasa, except I can take the cape off and, like, yeah. toss it. Um, That's cute. And my pronouns are she, her. And I think that's all. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, I... Oh, you want to know my name? It's a very ordinary name. No. My name is Brand Brandel. Brandel. Six. Sisyphus. Brandle Sisyphus. <laughs> it's like the Greek. Yeah, I was Brandle really Sisyphus. going Greek. Uh, sorry, Greek. Sorry. <laughs> Brandle Sisyphus. And uh, he, they, and and I would like to also note my favorite effect here is synth pop. Like, I like the, oh, the idea that you just sort of exude synth pop. Like, there's no speaker. There's no, like, stream. You just kind of give off synth pop. Um, I'm going to say that I have... Uh, I have... Antlers and claws. But... Um, Oh, and fur. I'm going to be wearing sort of a, a like a military, like a higher up sort of general's uniform for my clothes. And I don't think I have any effects. I have good vibes. That's the other effect. I have good vibes. Good vibes. I'm for that off... surprising from a stormtrooper. Yeah. Well, maybe uh, it shouldn't be so judgmental. I realized um, it was effects that I was forgetting. I do want the roar of the ocean. Whenever cool. you, whenever I first enter a room, there's just like a roar of the ocean. Yeah. Like you just, it's like it's like when the crowd cheers in a sitcom. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Every time I enter. And everybody has to be quiet for. Yeah. For it. Yeah. <laughs> it's um, like I make a grand entrance every time. Right. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Go continue on. Um. So what, what, are, what is what are your good vibes like? Um, I'm a, I'm an, a, an, an amicable guy. I'm friendly. People like okay. me. Like I'm, like I'm, I schmooze, you know? You'll colonize them, but they'll fall in love with you. Yeah. That's my secret. Oh. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um, yeah. And that's, and I guess that'll be, and that'll be that. All right. Okay. Now, Albert, it is your turn. <clears throat> Feel free to shut down this voice if you want. Well, my name's Jasper Lestarka. I, um, I love it. Can you keep it up? I'll so. try my best to keep it up. You know, Sasparilla. Remember me. to change your names. Oh, thank I'm you, changing thank my name right change. now. But hey, I'm I'm like this pretty uh, you know, I'm pretty tall for a guy. You know, good for eight. Um, I got a little orangey, uh, bushy, um, brush mustache and all that kind of such. You know, comically large. And I got my hair kind of split to both ends, almost like horns in a way, or like cat ears if you really wanted to. But they're not ears; they're just really, uh, really bushy uh, orange hairs and such. And okay. uh, what's uh, what's next after this description? Yes, um, you can pick like the name of like the town you're from, um, like any flavor to that if you want, or you don't have to, um, or you can pick any like effects or like clothes but uh, that's also that was great so you can just leave it there what oh and your pronouns but whatever okay. you vibe with oh yeah he him his yeah pronouns for sure i guess um i come from the town of uh off it's becoming carl weezer <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Me. Do you have like the smell of booze as your effect, or <laughs> whenever I walk into a room, you know it's gonna be a real party, right? Mm. I just radiate <laughs> off with like a fine bo of just a good time, an even better time than what the Legion can offer, because you know you can just smell it right off of me. I, you know, I just I can offer that. Amazing. 
truly yeah. gorgeous. I mean, yeah, you might show them a good night, but I'm the one they want to see the next day. <laughs> Yikes, we already got some competition. All right, so the last step then is introduce our characters to each other. So you just watched it happen, and now that we've kind of got our shit together a little bit more, um, we're going to enjoy doing like actual character introductions a la Sarsaparilla Stark style. Um, so I am Lyra from the Stormy Fields. Um, I use she, her pronouns. I'm rather stunning, literally, because I have like this lightning around me. Um, I, oh, some would say I'm a little oblivious, um, but I am rather ancient. I've lived in the wilds for a very long time. Um, I've got this really nice cape. It um, reminds me of the stars from home. Um, I've got horns, obviously, but you'd have to be blind not to see that. Um, that's about it, really. I'm rather good at lightning and transforming to be a little bit stronger. I really like your cape. Oh, it's thank a lot you. Like I really like your... Oh, it's is like that a, a cape? It's a net cape. A cape? Or... Yeah. Like Hap net? No, I like Nick Cape. Okay, Nick my Cape. name, my name is Sia. Um, I am from Oceanica. And as you can see, I've got these blue scales and this fishnet cape, my Nick Cape. And you? as you could hear when I entered the room, there was a roar of the ocean. And it just clapped like the applause. Mm. Um, I wanted to give a little bit more context here. I arrive fashionably late. People are people are talking, people are chatting, the party's going on, and I open the door. And as I'm I'm walking over to, uh, do we know who, who's hosting this party? So you have skipped in a little bit. There, we don't okay. have a setting right now. We're just introducing ourselves. Well, we're introducing ourselves to each in other. The void. I wanted some context. Each other. I like, you want I like that we're at a party. None of us. Yeah, so if you invited. want some context, no one knows who invited us to the party. <laughs> it's a murder mystery. Somebody dies at dinner. Yeah. yeah. So if you want some context, we can actually skip just a little bit. Okay. Ahead. I don't want to. I don't um, want to step on Albert's toes. I'll just do my thing, yeah, and then we'll do I'll the follow along with whatever's going. No. On. Yeah. This is I, fine. Okay. This is right. improv. We're Let's just gonna it. skip a little bit to the prelude. The prelude is the opening of the episode. It introduces items, events, and actions that give our story direction and conflict. Um, these elements should be the focus of our plot moving forward. Um, and so for our story, you guys have kind of already picked up on it a little bit. A kingdom has sent word that there will be a grand ball and every princept is expected to attend. What is the theme of the dance? And so uh, princept being really anyone with power, this is an invitation from a neutral kingdom. So anyone with magic, obviously I have electricity. Uh, Usea has her, her water powers. Um, Brantful has portals and plant magic from the lovely sarsaparilla so we, we've all been invited to this grand ball there's some like stuff they can figure out now but for now we can just introduce our characters so you see in some grand ballroom uh lyra and saya talking and fashionably late arrives so yes brandel opens the door i'm walking through i'm greeting people i know everyone i'm saying uh, oh, Diane, it is such a pleasure to see you. I love that dress on you. Oh, Jeremy, how are the kids? Like, I'm walking, I'm chatting, I'm schmoozing, I'm making my way over to see the cake that I, just one of many cakes, it's not the only cake, but I prepared a cake as sort of a, a gift. I had it sent over before I arrived, of course. Sent this magnificent cake, which is, you know, again, baking is very rare in the Legion. You know, most people just have rations, but when you get to my station, you can do whatever the hell you want. So as I'm, as I'm walking over there, I, I sort of almost start to walk between Lyra and, and Saya. And I'm like, oh, excuse me. Um, I'm sorry, you both are out of character. You're both of your pronouns were she, her, right? What'd you say? You, yes, your yes, pronouns yes, were yes. she, her as well, Caitlin. Yes. Yeah. I'm like, excuse me, ladies. I, sorry, I don't think we've met. I'm a uh, Brandel. Hi, and I just go in for a hug and hug oh, you. A hugger, I love it. My name's Sia, it's nice to meet you. 
Uh, it's, yeah, it's nice to see you. <laughs> <laughs> That was really funny. Nice. Well, quick on the wit. And, and excuse me, you are? Oh, I'm Lyra. A pleasure. Did, how where did you come from? Where did I come from? Uh, my right. ship is parked outside. Oh, no, I meant you because never mind. Okay. Um, sure, sure. Uh, sorry, I have to uh, go just for a moment, ladies, but please try that cake over there. I hear it's great. It looks wonderful. <sighs> mm. And I, and I sort of continue on. I well, go immediately for the cake once nice. you point it out. Well, that's just... happening, actually, even fashionably a bit more late. Um, Sarsaparilla Stark is kind of, you know, balls, these parties, you know, even though you rate it's a good time, he, you know, he doesn't exactly uh, find too kindly to these extravagant, extravagant, extravagant kind of settings, you know? He's more of the backyard kind of kind of guy. <laughs> so he's just... Uh, living up this area like it's just a, sun, a summer barbecue of some sorts. And he's just uh, going around tables, just sampling all the foods and cakes and whatnot, you know, get, digging his hands all over the place and uh, getting a taste of what uh, high class uh, partying is like. All while he's just dumping some uh, of his own home brewed moonshine on the table <laughs> for the party. <laughs> Wow. Homebrewed moonshine. I like just in like an unmarked bottle, like not even in the drink <laughs> section. <laughs> just... just bottles everywhere. Yep. Just bottles around every table. I uh, like to. Oh, no, keep going. Oh, go ahead. No. <laughs> oh, okay, shit. Um, <laughs> and he's just going to be looking around and sees um, Laya, Saya, and Brandall just doing their biz. And hoping he's not tracking too much attention or whatnot. I'd like to imagine as Lyra goes right for the cake, you kind of like, because she's rather tall, you like pop up from the other type of side of the table and like push forward, you know, like your, your homemade drink in an unmarked container. Um, and I just, oh, the drink. Where did that come from? Oh. I feel like the drinks of that. I want to try it. Oh, cake, cake, cake. Can I, could you hand me that drink, please? Why, of course, oh. uh, my ladies. Huh? Who's talking? Uh, right here. Shit, I forgot the voice already. Is that... <laughs> what? Uh, right here. Uh, right, right under here. You know, uh, I'm under. not sure if you can see me. This is a high table, but, uh, hey. Oh, oh, oh hello. hello. Oh, sorry. Oh, really? Oh, no. There. Missums. Ah. The name's uh, Sarsaparilla Starka, right? Yeah, that right there is some, uh, some of the good homebrewed brew that you're about to take a good whiff at. And I golly, it's a lot more quality than the kind of drinks you get right here. Let me tell you. Is that Sarsaparilla Starka I hear? Indeed, that'd be oh, wow. him. Hello. So I'm... Hello. Wow, I'm... Uh... I'm, well, it is a pleasure to see you. I hope you've tried the cake. Oh, I tried all the cakes. Mm. And? Did you have a favorite? Uh, well, I'm the kind of a guy that doesn't really like to play favorites when it comes to food and taste. I think they all have an equal amount of palate. You know, they all for each of their uh, fine, distinguished qualities and mm. whatnot. So, you know, I just got to literally get my hands on just about every one of them. And, uh, you know, it all tastes fine. I hear you. See, it's a real pleasure. You know, it's it's not often uh, we we uh, Legion folk and you resistance get to uh, uh, spend time in the same room without knives at each other's throats. Yeah, so far. So far. Well, that's the beauty of a neutral party. I mean, with a thing <laughs> like cooking, how how could it be any any better? A neutral we party. I appreciate the part and be friends. I pull everyone in for a hug. Of course. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, you know, and I squeeze oh. sarsaparilla, sarsaparilla a little tight. Oh, you're kind of squeezing this old oh. old fella a bit hard. The harder oh. the squeeze, the more the love. I, I think I I can't breathe. 
That's uh, good. I just let always. it happen. Listen. <laughs> I would just go oh, right. And I'm sorry, Susperla, did I hear you say you made this? Here. Oh, this moonshine right here? Yeah, once uh, one of my many talents when it comes to the culinary arts. Mm. You know, being a resistance fighter is a uh, hard work, but you gotta enjoy the little hobbies at times when life gives them, gives you the opportunity to do so. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, being a resistance fighter is hardly a career. Uh, I'm gonna... Being a legionnaire is hardly a matter of ethics or morals, to be <laughs> honest. Oh, I, would, I haven't had enough drinks to talk about this yet. And I'm going to take a sip of his drink. I'm going to grab it out of your hand and also take a sip. <coughs> oh, is it? Can it be my <coughs> hand? <coughs> Can it? I oh, it oh, thank you. I oh, thank it. you. Thank you. I'm, it looks oh, like you didn't like it much. No. So I'm just going to... No. And I it's... use a little bit of lightning to make it. Now it's a fizzy drink. <laughs> I don't know if that's that, like, know given if the alcohol content that would works. probably explode. <laughs> <laughs> and it explodes so. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. oh really you... fumes are getting all over the place. <laughs> oh well, it was only the one bottle. Uh, it tastes kind of good. Oh yeah, that's the word. It's like a it. mist. Well, it definitely like a has mist. a strong smell. Yeah. Well, I really take a good whiff of it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That's for sure. Um, all right. So we've gotten through our prelude. We've all met each other. We've arrived at the dance, which apparently has the theme of cooking. Um, and now we're going to start with me and we'll go around. We can take turns. But I'd like our first mini game to be taking the dance floor. Wow. And the, the context for this is a warm embrace, a moment in concert, a rhythm of steps. Um, so this seems one person and another literally like in a dance, but other players can kind of like come in and do other things as they want um, because we're all there. We're all, we're all at the ball. Um, so, um, say, uh, may I have this dance? I would love to dance with you. And I, I come in and dance. Okay. So the questions for this mini game is where are we dancing? What are we wearing? And what do I notice about you? So we know where we're dancing. We're at this neutral kingdom's wonderful cooking ball. Um, I think we're both wearing some sort of nice gown of sorts with our respective capes yep. what do i notice about you though what stands out while we're dancing i'm dancing a little too close to you okay all right you would notice about me i'm 60 percent of the time looking at the ceiling not my feet mm. the ceiling and so the next step is the worst dancer begins by taking a step. Uh, if we don't know which of us that is, then we can flip a coin. Which would you prefer to do? Let's flip a coin. All right. Call, uh, you want to call heads or tails? Uh, heads. All right. I will flip. And it was heads. Does that mean I'm the worst dancer or the better dancer? I think it means you get to go first. <laughs> All right. So. Which, whatever. So. Um, each player gets two steps total over the course of the dance. Once every dancer has taken two steps, so once you've taken one, I've taken one, you've taken one, I've taken one, the dance ends, and we can use our abilities while we dance. There's a list of steps on, you know, the little event sheet, there's a bunch of them, and we get to pick two, you go first, and then it's my turn. Turn At any point, um, Brandel and S Sasparilla, they can do something to make the scene more complicated. Um, you know, whatever it might be. Okay, sorry, I'm a little confused. So I'm asking you questions? Kind of, yeah. That's like the vibe. So uh, like the questions are more of like, how does the scene progress is what the questions are for. So you get okay. to pick like an action is like one of the non-bold and then the bold part is the question. To kind of just like add more. Okay. Um, I lose my place in the dance. Do you let me stumble or do you draw me back into place? I will stumble with you. 
Okay. Um, <laughs> so I like to imagine now, like, say the dance, we're supposed to be dancing, you know, this way in a circle with all the other couples. And now we're dancing the other way. Um, and we, we, you know, brush against a few people. Uh, what was that? I don't, why are, no, are they all we're, dancing we're, wrong? Yeah, that, yep. Yep, they are. We're dancing. Oh. They are all dancing wrong. I didn't even notice. Should we try the other way? Nope. No, we should not. They're all wrong. They'll they'll catch on eventually. Okay. All right. Um. And then I get to pick a moment. Um. I get carried away while dancing with you and lose control of my magic. My magic being lightning or transformation, oh, no. either one. Um, what effect does it have on the room around us? What happens, Saya? Mm, I imagine? imagine the lightning kind of goes everywhere. And like all the wrong dancers kind of just get like jolted and stop. And now mm. we're the only two dancing. Oh, did the song stop? Why did they I, stop? I don't know. Should we stop? Um, I think we stop for like a second. No, probably not. That would be insulting to our hosts. Yeah, let's let's keep dancing. The music is still playing. Right. Any yeah. any interludes you'd like to include? Brandel, yeah. Sarsaparilla. I'll say you know I think that a lot of the people around us have sort of moved over you know to the dance floor. Now they were dancing. Now they're sort of standing near it. And I say, well. Uh, Sasparilla, it looks like you don't have any other choice for a dance partner. And I hold out my hand. <laughs> and Sasparilla is going to hold out his bottle of moonshine and dance with that instead. <laughs> <laughs> Rejected. So we have Sasparilla has joined the dance floor with his bottle. Come on, Brattle. I'm pretty sure you got a cake you can dance with too, you know? Am I right? You know, I like this. I I haven't told anyone that it's my you know, I haven't told him that it's my cake, but he knows my baking. <laughs> like, <laughs> he's had it before. <laughs> yeah. Thought I do. If you really love food so much, then by all means you gotta be real intimate with it. You gotta be real close with the craft you're producing. Mm. Now that's the mark of a true culinary artist. You gotta be willing mm. to do that, Brandel. And that's something you don't really learn so much often in the Legion. I start to retort, and then he dances away. <laughs> right. Next move goes to Saya. So as we're dancing, I kind of like flick my hand and knock like a whole thing of water off all over the dance floor. Oh! And then I think out of, is there a question? Should you ask a question? Oh, what do you, my question is, what do you do? Oh, okay, perfect. Yes. So that happens. And I think on reaction, I don't, oh, oh, um, and I'm not, you know, it's like slippery, right? Um, but I have sparks of electricity around me all the time. I'm kind of out of, you know, like habit. Um, I plant my feet <laughs> and I like buzz and we both get electrocuted. <laughs> oh, that, that, that was oh, oh. a lot. Oh, my. Was there sparks between us? No. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh. That's funny. Oh, I feel a bit dizzy. Me too. I'm sorry I did. I knocked that water over on accident. Did the you? The power seemed to be like a little on the fritz right now. Oh, the water. I'm not very perceptive of things, and I, you know, it's a, a defense. Yeah. Oh, you have water magic. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. And I have lightning. That's a horrible combination. That's terrible. Cool. I could like make some water, do some stuff for you. Okay. Um, and then I think you have an opportunity to pull me close for a moment as the song is finishing. Mm. Do I, you? I pull you close and then I take water and like dump it on both of us. Wow, a bath. 
I thought it was. Where'd that come from? Romantic. Ugh. What a ditzy couple. <laughs> oh, did you do it? Yeah. Wow. With my water power. Wow. That's impressive. Thank you. Should we mop this up? No. Just leave it. Okay. But- that's why we're at like this ball. They're supposed to clean up after us, right? <laughs> That's a lawsuit rate waiting. That <laughs> yep. I don't know. And then we finish dancing, and yeah. I think also everyone else is yeah. finished dancing. Like um, can I can I choose a game? The floor is now unusable. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna do mincing words with Sasparilla. Um, Yo. So we can decide what secret if we have a secret, and I'm gonna say no. Like, I mean, it just in that I know, like you know, what's going on with the Legion, and he doesn't. But so I'm gonna. Should you I know, read? Should I read the rules a little? Sure. Yeah. Go yeah, for it. Well, while you while you think about it. Yeah. Cool. So Matan was correct. Um, he asked to decide if your character has a secret that they're hiding. Um, but yes and no, right? Like just part of backstory, you know, it's up what, what, the, what the plans are. And we would know that you know that. Um, and you guys have to work together to answer three questions together. How did you come to be sharing this conversation? Where are you talking? And what do you notice about the other person? Um, before you start though, we're gonna take a moment to skim through the list of prompts. Um, so there are, are several, they're divided into direct questions and confessions, fumbles, reactions, and escalations. Um, Matan, since you started it, you can probably do that. (laughs) You can pick one. Um, And you can keep using things from these different sections or you can talk without any prompts. Um, They're there to add drama or suspense when you want it. Um, And don't forget to use your abilities during the conversation. So um, I'm gonna come over with two slices of cake and I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk over to Sarsaparilla, you know, drinking in the corner, wherever he is. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna hand him a slice of, you know, not even, I'm not gonna say anything. I'm just gonna kind of put it in the table in front of him or just kind of hand it to him and start on my own and be like, listen, Sarsaparilla, I'm actually very glad that you came. I'm really, I didn't know you were gonna be here, but I'm very glad you are. I, I think we have some things that we should discuss. What sort of things are we going to discuss, Brandel? Listen, this war is only going to end with the resistance or the Legion, right? I mean, one of us is, isn't, one group is not going to end well. But that doesn't have to be the case for you and I, Sasparilla. Listen, if you, you don't have to die with the resistance. You don't have to stake your life on them. I'm not even asking you to come to the Legion. I know you'd never, I'm just saying, take a step aside, live a nice life, go back to your farm. I I can make sure that you guys are fine. Just, I'm just asking you to uh, make this a little easier. So so there are, there less violence has to happen. Well, here's the thing, Brandel, that you'll never really understand. As someone who's lived on a farm for all this time, life was fine without the Legion, all right? That, that was, that was just a matter of fact, a matter of life. All this freedom to conduct business as we saw fit, to live life to the fullest. That's what we, as the Sasparillas, were able to accomplish. But when the Legion kicked in and added all their regulations and whatnot, Things got real hard for the farm, and sooner or later, that business went dry, along with my other family ties and other pastly obligations. So, if you're asking for a reason why I'm still continuing, continuing to support the resistance and this fight, this crusade against Legion, it's so that people like me have the option to live freely as possible without any sense of law and order obstructing their ambitions and dreams. So, so I'm going to do a direct question. So I'm going to take a, a chance at guessing your true feelings. 
you're not the, I mean, you're being honest, but sort of at the core of it. Like, I'm going to basically say like, um, says Perla, I think that you are bitter. I think that you are still that scared child uh, when the Legion rolled in and, and ruined your town. Like, and, and I, I understand your grievances. I never would have had that happen if I had been in charge. But unfortunately, sometimes in an empire this big, towns get overlooked. And, and I sincerely apologize for that. But you need to stop harboring all this resentment. We are doing good in the galaxy and on this planet. We can help, not only can we help your farm, we can help, we can help send your goods to other planets for trade. We can do so much with our resources. And your resistance, you guys are in the way of that. You're in the way of progress. I mean, don't you ever wanna stop being bitter, Sasparilla? I love it. just like while wow, you guys are like dancing and flirting, like. <laughs> Brando, I ain't bitter. I'm angry. I'm fiery mad. All right. I'm not talking about just me being stuck in the past or whatever you're insinuating. It's just that this whole system, this legion of yours has strung up this system you claim that you want to apologize for their wrongdoings. All right, that's been a consistent factor that's been going on for decades and decades on hand, Brandel. And that is my attitude towards the Legion, and that's something that needs to be fixed immediately by tearing down that system. And that's what the Resistance is here to do, to push for that change, Brandel. You claim that this Legion has good intentions or something like that, that, you know, if you were in charge, you would be able to make some good in the world, this whole place right here. But you know what? It doesn't seem like you're doing enough to offer some of that goodwill to the people who are really struggling down below, the people that are under the heel of the Legion. Wouldn't you agree? Um, I'm How going to... <laughs> I'm going to, I guess, turn into an escalation. I'm going to respond to the turn into an escalation. Basically, I'm going to say, Sasparilla, I understand your reservations, but I am wounded by your blame. Uh, I, and you, and you can tell, like, Brendel's not wounded. Um, <laughs> um, look, it's, I am offering you a way out here. I'm trying to help you, bud. I mean, well, no, I shouldn't say anything. Well, good, because nothing you got to offer can really sway me, considering I got nothing really left but this strong ideology I'm fighting for, Brandel. Uh, no, no, I mean, I, I hear you. I just really shouldn't say this thing about the resistance. Well, good. No, <laughs> yeah, no. Bygones. I'm glad, no, for sure. Like, I'm really, you, you probably wouldn't want to know this information anyway, so... Yeah, so let me enjoy my cake in peace, Brandel. Uh, well, okay, I mean, no, you no, know, I, I mean, if you really want to know, I guess. <laughs> Susperla, you know, you are not the only resistance person, resistance leader I've had dealings with. Do you know why they send you here? Do you know why you're here and not one of them and not with anybody else? Am I sensing that you're being like honest or deceptive with me? Um, uh, probably a little deceptive. You know, I mean, not I'm not flat out lying, but. Well, gee, if you got something to say, say it. Otherwise, I'll be back enjoying my cake. Sasparilla, the people who lead the resistance, they you you maintain you. How do I say this? Um, I don't think they like you, bud. You uh, always sling your moonshine and always smell of it. Uh, you still act like a farmer, even as a, as a leader of a, a very powerful group. Uh, in my dealings with them, they don't, they don't seem to hold you in very high regard. You were a champion of that uh, Battle of the Fork or whatever, and 
Uh, that actually. secured you your spot, but I think your life would be better without them, Sasparilla. I'm saying that as a person, not as a not as Brandel Sisyphus of the Legion. You know what, Brandel? I don't care if the world thinks I'm just some redneck looking uh, BL smelling moonshine whipping uh, individual of sorts. And it does. And it does. Well, gee, I, I, you don't have to really rub in my face like that, but okay. But still, look, Brandel, if there's a belief, an ideology that you truly believe in, that you think is right, as good for the good of all others around me, even if they don't see it as something that will benefit them in the mean, uh, immediate or so. This kind of thing, this kind of work, you know? I don't care if people think uh, my uh, actions are a bit rash or even a bit smelly of sorts. I do what I have to do in order to make sure that people have the opportunity to, to be free as they can be. And I think that is the biggest and strongest fight and belief to uphold for all this time. Hmm. That kind of individual humanitarian freedom that we all seek ever since we've been wee kids, you know? And I, I'll agree with you on that, Sasparilla. Yeah. That is why that's something that Legion can never offer. That's the Legion, yes, I, I understand. I'll, uh, I'll find you around and I'll walk off. So be it. And I eat my cake. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> You're saying that in character. And then I eat my cake. <laughs> All right. What's All next? Right. What um, next? I, I have one I want to do. Uh, I'm going to do search and rescue. I It says you and two other players. Can I, like, tweak it a little bit? Yeah, always. Okay. Um, I was thinking having an NPC be the captor kidnapping Lyra from the party and I need to get Brendel or Brandel and uh, Sarsaparilla to help me go and save Lyra. Okay. I like it. Do you want me to play the NPC? Yeah. Got it. Um, I don't know who it is. We can just like go with it, whoever it ends up being. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, do you, since it was your scene idea, do you want to like set like what's happening at the ball and then I can kind of insert the captor? Yeah. yeah, so I imagine we just finished dancing. I, I'm going to go off, get us some drinks, and then all of a sudden there's a loud explosion. Someone comes in, picks Lyra up, and runs. An explosion? A big explosion. Then like that happens. Dolly. Then that ex exactly that happens. So an explosion has just occurred. I was fucking just picked up, knocked unconscious, and they ran out the door with me. We're going to read the rules just a little bit so we know how to address this massive event that just happened. So our goals are to answer, well, we did just answer them. Um, where's the captive being held and what are their surroundings like? So the captive has just been held. They are currently in the arms of a person and we'll see how far they get. Um, we've decided the captive is Lyra. The captor is someone tbdi will decide mm -hmm. and the rescuers are you three I was gonna say, so, can can we establish what kind of kingdom we're in like if this guy's leaving this person's leaving the castle what does it look like out there good good question um any ideas hmm. being like a flowery floral one okay kind of like, like, like italian yeah. kind of and it's night sorts and it's nighttime yeah. But yeah, they're still very pretty. So there's some like glowing flowers outside. Yeah, well and lit. I imagine your captor got a bit of a head start. We didn't see exactly where you went. Mm -hmm. And now like people are like everywhere, like panicking. Yeah, there's, there's like some panic so going see. on. No one's really started going after you. And I'm just standing there seeing you having been taken away. Yeah, Wait. okay, so. Oh my God. Oh, sorry. I'm keep reading. I'm reading. Oh yeah, we have to read. I forgot about that part, sorry. The rescuers need to find the captive and help them escape. 
Um, you can take turns posing challenges. So you each get a turn to pose a challenge. Then the captor places obstacles and challenges between the rescuer, between the rescuers and the captive. The captor doesn't have to be, so like for instance, we wouldn't have to designate Brandel as the captor because yeah. he's the legion. We're going to create an NPC. And then the captive can give advantages to the rescuer or the captor. They can also choose not to give anything to anyone. Uh, the rescuers go first, the captor goes second, and the captive goes third. So we have a turn order, one, two, three, and you each get your own turn within that section. Um, on your turn, you're going to choose a chat in your roles section. So there's they're divided in the PDF. We're going to read it aloud and flip a coin, and then you follow the outcome. As you play, the, both the rescuer and the captor will gain tokens. These tokens represent how close they are to completing their goal. So the tokens, I believe, are just like, points yeah. um so we can keep track of that in the game note um so after each roll so all three um have posed two challenges so i think because we have more than one rescuer this gets a little tricky but so basically once two rounds have passed we're going to compare mm -hmm. tokens and then certain things will happen okay. and we can try to decide to end the rescue early or let it go into the round until we decide like it's done either like they stay captive or we find them um we can pick whatever ending um so first so yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i was gonna see try to figure out something about the math of this because usually right it's one one captor, one rescuer, and so they each pose each other two challenges. Um, but given that it's one and three, um, do you want to like pose Me? us? I think the idea, like, I think Caitlin's intention with this is for the final outcome to be like the captive gets taken back anyways. So you don't mind that there's the the advantage? I don't. Okay, sure. Well, can work do you? That. So maybe no, it's fine. So maybe you give each of us one, and then we'll give you two. Sure. Or something, or yeah. the whole group. You, you yeah, know, we can whatever. like agree on yeah, two. Yeah, sure. Yeah, that's fine. Um, I'll say okay, and I'm writing down right now behind the scenes magic stuff um, of the order, and then captive, and then we just go in that order. When two have occurred, then something special happens. So we'll just keep track of that. Um, Saya, you get this is your reaction. You get to go first. Oh my god, she's been taken! Glyra was taken! The love of my life! Mm -hmm. In front of my eyes! Uh, Brandon. You're both nearby. Yeah. Yeah, I, I look, I don't remember your names. I'm like, you two! Do, I, don't, I don't know anyone else here, but. Um. What? what? I'm, I'm sorry, did you see what happened? And there was an explosion and then they took her. They took your they friend? Took, they uh -huh. took Lyra. Ah, um, okay, well then I suppose we must get her back. I'm gonna run up to you and grab your hand and hold you, like, really close. I'm gonna be like, I need her back. You have to help me get her back. Of course, I'm sure. I am very happy to help you in this. And I'm sure, you know, this will cement our friendship. You'll be very willing to help me in the future, I'm sure, right? Yeah, and we'll get to go on an adventure, because I've always wanted to go on an oh, adventure. And I've never sounds... been on an adventure. So that, that sounds, sounds really lovely. Good. Oh, you yeah. too. Susperl just scarfs down his last piece of cake. <laughs> Well, we I think if we really gotta get back to this, uh, your friend right over there, I, I oh, think we better right. hightail it. Okay, let's go. All right, so we so we leave, and I'm sure there are some other people trying to you know head in that way as well, but we are booking it. Yeah. Yeah. So that can be. Um. So I think the idea with search and rescue is more like you are in infiltrating a castle versus the other way around. But so we're doing it like kind of the opposite way. Mm. Um, Maybe there's so a I hedge think, maze or something. <laughs> <laughs> but I think actually more important here is going to be the heads and tails options. So instead of like looking at like the I run down a passage past you following an mm -hmm. errant lead, I throw. Just just read instead the outcomes that you want. Hmm. So, are, do you want us to give you a challenge first? Yeah, you guys get. You get to go first before so we're giving before you a captor challenge, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um. Uh. I'm gonna give you. You dip into the sewers to bypass a blocked path. A flood of water fills the tunnel. Uh, let me flip the coin. I think. Yeah. No, you flip the coin. Check it. Check it. Check it. Yeah. 
Um, I got heads, so the water washes you out. Oh. All right, so we so we had the NPC and Lyra had uh, found some sewer entrance gate outside the castle and they were running under, but high tide comes as Saya is extremely upset. And so they end up oh. stumbling and they are now above ground near like a path amongst the flowers. Cool. So then who gets it? We get a token for that? Yeah, you've got heads, right? Yeah. 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 Oh yeah, okay. so we get the token, okay. Um, then, then do you want to give us one or do we do all of ours and then you do yours? Um, yeah, I guess it would make a little bit more sense if we alternated like that. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So the captor. Okay. So as you're chasing me, I let the captive free as a ploy to drag you deeper into my clutches. Ooh. Mm. So I'm going to flip the coin. Okay. And we'll see what happens. Mm. Heads. Um, you can't, so as you're running through the fields, you end up getting confused. You can't find your way out, and I have you at my mercy. Ooh. So wait, how did you let the, ca so you let the captive and then you took her back? Yeah. Yeah, yeah you like Ooh. drew us. So I think what happened was like, I, I, you know, unhappy with like getting washed out of the sewers. Uh, this mysterious figure runs into the grass and um rolls Lyra out into the field and somehow from your spot you see lightning like Lyra's lightning mm -hmm. appear mm -hmm. and you rush towards it mm -hmm. and you see a figure on the ground but two seconds later it's not actually Lyra gotcha and now you hear in the bushes you assume you've been cornered <gasps> um oof okay um let me give you a challenge. Um, so I'm going to use my portal to do, so the ground beneath your, beneath your feet shifts suddenly and you could lose your footing. So I'm just going to kind of shoot a portal on the ground, make a portal on the ground where the sound is. So it's not, maybe your you, one foot is caught in it and you kind of slip. Um, so. I do actually have a question. Go for it. My thing is in bold that I have you at my mercy, and I don't know why. Huh. Do we want to try rolling? Like, maybe it's just, like, some sort of disadvantage for what you want to do next? Or, okay, or we could give you, we could give you two tokens. Yeah, I'm fine. Or I could get, like, a bonus turn, what, maybe? I was gonna, well, yeah, we can do that. I was looking at, yeah. though, the other one, when you let them loose, the rescuers get two tokens, so maybe... You know. But I feel like they would have written that. Yeah, you're you're right. Okay, you know? whatever. Um, <laughs> so okay. then maybe this next challenge I have to get. Yeah, like have disadvantages. Okay. Like that's two out of three or something. Yeah. I don't know. Okay. So, so I guess. So then... like the so like the thing there would be that the opposite of rescuer right is cap. So if tails is. You lose, rescuers lose, right? So then the captor would get a token. Gotcha. Yeah. Okay. So you I guess, being the captor. The so I guess person. I will instead do the. Um, you are spotted, and an alarm starts blaring. I th I okay. throw. What does that mean? Oh, it's just that was just you a the flipping. Mic, yeah. You're right. Okay. You flip, so yeah. and then we're gonna. I'm gonna be doing it with disadvantage. So I'm gonna need to get heads twice. So. Oh. One, time, shot. one heads. Well, it's 25%. Two heads. I did it. Hey. Yay. Awesome. Good stuff. So the, uh, an alarm starts blaring. I like call it out, you know, my character. And it's like, the captures, the, the, the kidnappers there. And so uh, the guards are, uh, this is so. On my, the guards are on my tail and you. Token. And, and I get a token, rescuer. not the captor gets a token as is written. Correct. Rescuer right. gets a so token. we're flipping okay. it. We're flipping opposite. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I th I'm going to go with, I still have the captive. So I'm going to 
dip underground or onto a side path to get around the guards. So I'm modifying one of the capture challenges. Um, I thought you might try to call the guards on me and now I'm gonna flip. Tails. Oh God, this has to be opposite. <laughs> uh, so we get the- Tails is I lost. Yeah. So I don't you know. get captured by the guards, the captor. Is that right? Yes. Okay, so is that I lost where it is in the thing? Yeah, I think that's the case. So what is your so now I suppose Adriana, it's time for you to reveal the captor's identity. Okay. So as the captor gets tackled and you see Lyra just unconscious on the ground, um Brandel mm -hmm. you notice the actual identity of this cloaked figure <gasps> is your supervising commander. Oh, <gasps> Nani? For the Legion. Not. Um, I don't know if Sasparilla would also recognize this person, but Sayo would not. What do you think, Sasparilla? I think I've seen this particular fellow sometimes in some of our uh, resistance debriefing. Well, um, well, well. Look who Cap we have here. Captain Marshall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Captain, what are you doing here? I told you I could handle this. Sisyphus, there are more important things than your ego going on. My ego? You put this whole diplomatic mission at risk. Oh, man. Oh, these people are going to hate me now. I didn't realize kidnapping was a part of Legion diplomacy. It's That's not, amazing. Sarsaparilla. I was being facetious. Brad, I was trying <laughs> to lighten the mood. And you watch as Captain Marshall like tries to struggle out of the guards' grasp. Um, and he ends up getting punched. And you all hear a crack, but not the crack of a bone. Of something else. And he watches, he uh, swallows very loudly and then goes unconscious. So, oh. uh, Brandel, you recognize this. It's one of the emergency only suicide pills he that used, you're given. He, he used the diet cyanide. Of capture. Yeah. Wait, I thought, wait, wait, I thought there was no death in this. There's no death. It's diet for cyanide. Us. It's for diet us. cyanide. There's no death for <laughs> okay, us. Okay. <laughs> okay, all right. Then he does die. It's regular cyanide. <laughs> it's regular cyanide. <laughs> it's cyanide, light. cyanide zero. Um, <laughs> um, um, oh. oh, man. I, Lady Lyra, I apologize profusely for the actions of my supervisor. I run over and just hug you. I thought I was going to lose you. Oh, no, I've been around forever. I will continue to be around. Lady Lyra, please let me escort you back to the party. Well, hold on a second, Brenda. I think you got a bit of explanation for uh, <sighs> Lady Lara and Saya and I about your captain's actions right here. I'm pretty sure you got a bit of uh, some information you'd like to disclose with us. Not trouble doing this whole shenanigans right here. Fine. Yes, I rather think we should arrest you instead. I have done nothing wrong. I will tell you what I know, though I know very little. Uh, the wilds, <clears throat> the wilds, uh, particularly the area from in which you reside, is a highly. Uh, prized uh, tactical position, as I'm sure Sasparilla would uh, agree with. It is very uniquely positioned in terms of the front of the war. Uh, but I had decided that in our, in our pursuits of victory in this war, that diplomacy was a better route at um, 
securing uh, necessary resources and, and strategic assets than kidnapping or otherwise attacking uh, the wilds. And my, my plan had prevailed until apparently now. Yeah, you're... it seems like your higher-ups didn't really get the rest of the memo now, didn't they? Seems rather like they wanted to use you as a distraction. And they almost s- succeeded. See, Brandle, this I is should know. By the Legion How holes. do we know Let's we can trust you, Brandle? Oh, so just because I'm Legion, I, I'm as bad as all the other ones? Everybody's going to judge me for the actions of others? So you're admitting the other Legions are bad? No, some of them. My supervisor, namely. But why should I be stand trial for actions I have not committed? My kingdom has stood neutral in this war for years. This here is very telling to me on which side we may want to back in the coming Is it, years. Sia? I supported you in reclaiming Lady Lyra. I helped you get her back. It was me calling the guard's attention that got my supervisor caught. Against your own supervisor. A judge You're not, not in charge, are you? Of course Rather I'm not. Rather seems charge. you have quarrel with your own government. This is why I do With an individual. Bother he acted with alone. You lot. Exactly. He acted alone, Lady Lyra, please. The legion stands for much more than the actions of a single person. We are much greater than any individual. But it's and I hope God's after your rescue, you would see that we can be of some help. And his individual action has had more of an impact tonight than yours. He is dead and I am not. So tomorrow, I hope we can continue any of these conversations. Brandel, I got to be honest. Do you think the death of one dirty legionnaire is going to change this whole system right here? Brando, the system I is fine. The It's fine with all this and kidnapping and such. Why not that, how, that was not part of the system. He acted alone. There was no team. There was no strike squadron. It was one person one who person is dead stole now. A legionnaire. A legionnaire that didn't get the rest of your diplomatic memo. Look, oh, Brando. so should you be judged then for the actions of your counterparts? How many, how many villages has the resistance pillaged? How many times have you forced them to take you in, to hide you? I hardly think you're above me in this, Sesperilla. Randall, we're both part of two dirty wars right here. It's just a matter of how this conflict is going down. And I think you and I both agree. Yeah, it's tiring. It's a hard and dangerous war right here. But we do things what we got to do. We get the bigger picture. And that's to address this system that clouds us all. I think we should return to the party. Yeah, <laughs> I think so you too. Think? I'm going to grab Lyra's hand and walk back to the party. So yeah, we've both been neutral, as has this wonderful floral kingdom. I rather think we should leave. I think you're right. Ladies, Please, there is much more to discuss. It to, much more party to enjoy. I think I've had enough party for tonight. And I think we all go our separate ways, at least for a little bit. And we'll pick up next time with uh, a game of crossing paths where you and your chosen partners have are meeting for the first time in a long while. Wow. We'll see what has happened between the neutral party and the disasters of that night and days, weeks, months later. All right. Make sure to go check out Rabbit Doe stuff. Thank you for watching. Go watch more of her stuff. We left you on a cliffhanger. I am so sorry. Yep. Yep. Come back to find out what happens. Episode two coming soon to our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you smash that bell icon so you're notified whenever we put out a new video. Click all the things. Leave a comment. Also follow us on our Twitch channels if you yeah. do that kind of thing too for yep. other outside content as well. We mm-hmm. do all things gaming, streaming, Linked in the description. comedy like this. Yes. Yep. 
and we, we often fight about rules, so <laughs> enjoy more of that. Yeah, and we will catch you next I time. Think. Just fight. <laughs>